So you bought a brand new car or your dream car and you're like, hey, I want to start my own car vlog. Or you're one of those who get a kick out of going to showrooms and car shows and you want to be a car reviewer. Well, guess what? You can just whip out that cell phone camera and you're on your way. However, if you want a more professional look and feel to your videos, well, you gotta invest in some gear, boy. And who doesn't like to buy new gear anyway? Well, I'm Ray Gan, and welcome to The Basement, where today we're going to talk about the types of gear that I use for shooting my car vlogs and my car reviews. Now, before we begin the video, I'd like you guys to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification as well. So let's do this. Now, most people would think that the first thing you should buy is a really cool camera, and they'd probably be right. But more than an expensive camera, you do well to invest in a good quality microphone. You see, Clear, crisp audio is a surefire way to get more people to watch your videos. Cause let's face it, would you even stick around to watch a video if you couldn't understand a single word that the car vlogger or car reviewer is saying? I mean, this especially applies to car reviewers and car vloggers because we always shoot outside where there's a lot of ambient noise going on, there's a lot of you know, noise in the environment and you need to have a good microphone capturing your voice for your viewers. Now, when I first started out a couple of years ago, uh, the first mic I bought was this Rode Video Micro. Now, this nifty little thing is a shotgun mic and it mounts on top of my camera. And this worked perfectly well for my handheld videos where I was uh, doing um, shoots of my uh, Miata's modifications and my track days and our destination runs and all that. So this worked pretty well and it's a great value for money i mean i got this for around uh, around uh, less than a hundred dollars so it's pretty decent and it's able to block out all the ambient noise and just focus on my voice the thing is when i started branching out to car reviews so this would work for car vlogs and all but for car reviews i knew that this tiny tiny shotgun mic won't cut it and i needed to have a lapel mic and the first thing that i bought was this wired lapel mic from boya and well because i'm a cheapskate i don't want to buy like those really expensive wireless transmitter microphones that are for like thousands of hundreds of dollars like this thing cost me like 20 bucks so it's really really cheap like, around 900 pesos for my filipino viewers and it worked well because it has a wire that's like six feet long so even if i'm going around the car while doing a car review it would still give me clear audio and you'd still hear me pretty well better than if I use my shotgun mic. Now, um, my earlier videos would show that. So if you, let's say you watch this video of my review of the RF, you will see that there's, a, <laughs> there's the wire of the mic uh, that's snaking its way towards the camera. It's uh, pretty hilarious actually. Now that my channel is making a little bit more money, so I decided to invest in a wireless transmitter microphone system and I still didn't go for the really expensive ones. So now I just use this Saramonic wireless transceiver, which I got uh, for around $200. So for my Filipino viewers, it's around 10,000 pesos. It, it, it's what I'm using right now. So as you can see, I'm, I'm way across you guys. My Miata's right in, right in between me and the camera. And I'm using this. But bottom line, guys, whatever your budget is, get a good quality microphone to go with your vlogging or your car review setup because that is really a great way for, well, for us viewers to hear what you gotta say, right? Now, when it comes to my videos, I use a couple of cameras. Well, my main camera is a Canon 77D. Uh, I chose this particular model because it's lightweight and it has uh, good electronic uh, image stabilization and it has fantastic autofocus as well. You see guys, I'm a one-man show. I'm a one-man production crew and I need to have great autofocus just to make sure that things don't get blurry while I'm just chatting with you like this or while I'm driving and doing my drive impressions. I have nobody to check the image quality for myself while I'm doing those drives or those reviews. So I need 
a great autofocus system and Canon probably has one of the best autofocus systems out there in the market. For my road uh, shots and my uh, drive impressions and all that, I just use a GoPro. So I have here a GoPro Hero 5 Black. So it's not even the latest model, it's an old GoPro, but it shoots uh, full HD video so it does the job well. And uh, yeah, so it's a GoPro. Now when it comes to lenses, I didn't go crazy with the lenses because, well, we're not really shooting like stills photography and stuff. I just got a couple of lenses for my uh, car reviews and my car vlogs. When it comes to uh, interior shots, like when I'm shooting the dashboard or the steering wheel and instrument gauges or when I'm doing handheld uh, car vlogging or shooting my mods and all, I use a, an ultra wide angle lens. This is the one. This is an EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens so it's a it's pretty decent it's cheap not, not that expensive around two hundred dollars so it does the job very well it's my go-to lens for um, interior shots and for handheld video now when it comes to my car reviews where my camera is on a tripod and uh, like now and I'm shooting like for the exterior of uh, the vehicle of the car I make use of a pricier lens uh, right now I'm shooting on a 17 to uh, 17 to 35 milliliter millimeter sorry EFS lens and uh, it's, pr it's a pretty fast lens it's at f 2.8 so it's quite pricey it's quite heavy but the image is quite clear and crisp I'm, I'm in the basement the lighting isn't really that nice but look it's still a good clear shot so yes it's definitely worth the price and kind of helped me that I didn't buy it brand new because brand new is like around a thousand dollars I'm not gonna spend that much got it pre-owned so does the job now any car vlogger worth his salt would need a couple of quality suction mounts now don't go out and buy those crappy eBay slash Lazada level uh, you know mounts that are like super cheap because honestly guys they're so wobbly and they would give out and die right like really quickly now check out this clip that i made with one of those mounts that i bought early on in my vlogging uh, life so you see the the video was really crappy so i had to go on a quest looking for fantastic mounts that i could use for my car vlogging and i found them here i got this on, on amazon it's delkin devices fat gecko and this baby holds and holds like crazy now uh i use the mini mount this is one for the gopro and i just mount it on the windshield here right like so okay and i got this uh, dual suction mount this baby right here holds my dslr camera and this one is mounted here facing me so i use my wide angle lens to so that it would be able to capture me even if it's quite uh, close to my face so uh, do yourself a favor invest in good quality mounts and I would swear by these Delkin devices They're really really good now when it comes to tripods uh, Well, it just depends on what kind of car video you guys would be doing uh, For my Scarlett Miata series uh, where I did car modifications of my Miata and a lot of road trips and track days Where there's a lot of handheld video action going on. I made use of this. This is a Joby Gorilla pod and this this is practically the go-to uh, handheld tripod of most YouTubers out there. People like Casey Neistat, they, they use this. And mine is equipped with a small arm so that I could like put a microphone or I could put a, a small LED light here for my handheld videos. Now for my car review videos where the camera is pretty much static like this kind of video, I just bought you know an El Cheapo China-made Zomi um, tripod that I bought in Lazada which is pretty much the uh, Asian eBay so 
yeah, it does the job, works fine, so it's all good. Now, aside from all of these major you know, gear that I got from my car vlogging and my car reviews, uh, I also noticed that you needed a little bit of some accessories as well, and most notably of them would be light. So I got this uh, small uh, Aperture Amaran uh, LED light here. See, there, it's quite bright. Now, this baby, uh, I bought this mainly because uh, whenever I do interior shots of my car reviews, Use, or when I, whenever I do a modification inside the car, inside my, my Scarlet, my Miata, uh, I find that the lighting is pretty dark. So I decided to go and buy the, this. Uh, this was endorsed by Peter McKinnon. So yeah, when I saw his video, I just went out and bought this thing. It's been helpful for my, mostly my interior car reviews and my drive impressions as well, where the car that I'm driving has a roof and it's kind of has dark tint as well. So this helps light up the entire cabin for you guys. So there you have it guys, those are the gear that I use for shooting my car reviews and my car vlogs. Well, I didn't really buy all of them all at the same time because you know, I'm not made of money everyone. So I just bought them as I went along and as my channel grew, uh, I just kept on you know, just uh, getting some more stuff, better quality stuff so that my videos would go up to the next level. And that is something that I would advise to everyone who are watching who's thinking of starting their own car vlog or their car review channel or whatever, a YouTube channel, whatever. You know, as you go along, as your channel grows, you have to just keep on upgrading so that you level up the quality of your videos in your channel. Anyway, once again, thank you guys for watching my videos. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you again in another episode of The Basement.